now here we are, we've reached the big one, oh well, one of the big ones. This could well be the day that a generational shift is officially, absolutely confirmed. The old generation have struggled against the new kids on the block, and in Hoge Heide, that could get compounded. So who do we think will be near the front, who's going to struggle, and who will get to crown themselves as elite world champion on Saturday? Let's take a look. It's strange to start the favourites preview with someone who isn't there, but when Mariana Vos decides to forfeit something, it's worth mentioning. The defending world champion hasn't had a great season, and that looks to be compounded by her choice not to defend the world title in her home country. Luckily though, the Dutch have one or two other decent women who could compete for the title. The big favourite to win is the youngest of the lot. Fem van Empel is just 20 years old. She's already amassed a ridiculous nine World Cup victories, including seven this year one shy of Sven Nijs' record eight World Cups in a year. Should Van Empel crown herself world champion, she'd be the youngest world champion since Macho van der Poel in 2015. This year has had many similarities to that fabled year, especially with Shirin van Androoy's decision to stay under 23. These world championships could have a remarkable similarity to what happened in Tabor eight years ago. There it was Van Aert versus van der Poel, now it's Van Empel and Puk Pietersen. Pietersen is the flamboyant one of the two, more akin to Van der Poel's absurd technical skills and outright bravery. And maybe those similarities will see her be the one to rise to the occasion. Pietersen has already got the under-23 world title to her name, so does Van Empel, as well as the under-23 European title and as the current elite Dutch national champion. That elite Dutch title was her official rise to the big leagues. This world's is her first serious foray into elite championship racing but something tells me that she'll probably be able to handle the pressure. Now, we'll get back to the Dutch in a minute, I promise, but I want to take a quick excursion to Italy, because I genuinely think the rest of the Dutch don't stand much of a chance. In fact, I think there's only one other person in this race who's at any point this season shown they can compete, and that's Italy's Silvia Persico. Persico has raced comparatively little, but when she has raced, she's made her presence very well known. After sweeping up some minor Italian crosses, she put on a show in Val di Sol where she ended up in 4th, and then looked pretty good in Zolder and Dichem before disappearing again. She returned for Benidorm where she was the only one in the same galaxy as Van Empel, Pietersen and Van Anrooy. In the end though, she settled for 4th again. Now with no Van Anrooy, there's a pathway open for Persico to claim her second bronze medal in succession, if not go better on the podium. The rise of Sylvia Persico over the past 12 months has been bizarre. It's been an insane, thrilling ride, and I don't think it's going to slow down yet. But of course, time will tell. Now, thank you for listening to that short Italian moment. We're back to our scheduled programming, the Dutch. Should Persico falter, then right behind her, I expect to see Lucinda Brandt. Brandt has had an underwhelming season by her standards, partially, of course, caused by the injury she sustained in Tabor and partially because of the sudden rise of Van Empel, Pietersen and Van Anrooy. Brandt still seems to be a level above the riders I haven't mentioned quite yet though, so I feel confident for a top 4 for Brandt, she could well push for the podium. Alvarado and Worst seem to be the two that are closest to Brandt in ability in current form. They're the outside bets should the outside bets for the podium start to struggle. Alvarado has been completely revitalised this season, she's dealt with injuries in the last two years, but with those seemingly put behind her, she's got back to winning ways as recently as Gulligum in the Super Prestige. A third place in Hammer last weekend shows that Alvarado is ready to compete for the podium. Worst, on the other hand, is always there or thereabouts during World Championships. A second place in Besançon shows that she is pretty much where she needs to be, especially for a season that was struck and hampered a lot by a lingering knee injury. The rest of the Dutch squad is pretty much just as capable as being on the podium should things swing their way. Denise Betsema has struggled a little for form though since Christmas, whilst Inge van der Heijden is coming into perfect form with her first ever World Cup podium recently in Besançon. Annick van Alphen meanwhile has had her biggest season to date, consistently being enough for top 10 performances and taking her first big win in the Super Prestige in Boom. It's moments like this when I'm making these videos that I realise how incredibly stacked this Dutch team is. All eight of these could fairly easily podium. Outside of the Dutch and Sylvia Persico, there's a few names worth noting, though the chances of them landing on the podium are fairly slim. If anyone's going to pull it off, it'll probably be Banka Vass. Vass has struggled a lot with illness this year, explaining her incredibly fluctuating form throughout the season. 
but when on her best, she's good enough for top fives in the World Cup. And I think Hoja Haida suits her quite well as well. So should it go well, this could well be a good day for her. In a similar vein, I think if I had to pick a wild card, it might be Magali Rochette. Rochette is another rider who's had a strange year with injury and illness causing a rocky start to the season. Valdizol saw Rochette return to the World Cup and do so with a stunning fifth place. Her best performance might well be Benidorm though, where she was basically last coming through the first lap, but somehow managed to end up in the top 10. If she has a day like that, then she could punt it very, very far. That's what makes her that real outside pick that I'm kind of hoping does well. In reality though, this is going to be a battle between Van Empel and Pietersen. I think Van Empel is the one I favour of the two. I think she handles the pressure a little bit better than Pietersen at the moment, who's always needed a little bit longer to adjust than Van Empel seemingly has. Maybe, however, that time's already passed. They're both more than ready and both so evenly matched. The fact they haven't raced against each other last weekend makes it even harder to predict. Van Empel's stone-cold mentality and brains on the bike might well be what wins her a first title. Completing the podium behind these two, I think Persico has the best papers, but Lucinda Brandt could throw up a challenge. What do you think? Who do you think will crown themselves as the world champion on Saturday? Will it be Van Empel? Will it be Peterser? Or will it be a complete shock? Let me know in the comments below.